Over the past month and a half, the price of Terra Luna Classic has been steadily rising, indicating the project's ability to reach earlier yearly highs. As the Terra Luna Classic community awaits the Chapter 11 bankruptcy court, today is very important. Furthermore, rumors of a prospective cryptocurrency rally have been prompted by the U.S. Fed's interest rate cut. Will the price of LUNC make a return? After verifying the dates, Terraform Labs, TFL, the business responsible for the Terra ecosystem, declared that its Chapter 11 bankruptcy hearing will start on September 19th. The hearing will enable the company to restructure and is essential to the closure of Terraform Labs PTW LTD and Terraform Labs Limited. The TFL agreed to pay $4.5 billion in compensation and started the liquidation process with the signing of the deal with the SEC. By October 30, 2024, TFL as a firm will have burned all of its coins, including LUNC and USTC. Meanwhile, the Terra Luna Classic chain finished updating to version 3.1.5, which should address issues with transaction efficiency, WASMD, and readiness for the Tax 2 gas rollout. In the past day, the price of LUNC has risen by 2.2% and is currently trading at $0.0000852. Before the hearing, a bullish pattern is beginning to emerge on the daily time frame chart which might cause the price of Terra Luna Classic to rise by 50%. The price action of Terra Luna Classic demonstrates an upward trend that began in early August. The support's upward slope points to a short-term positive trend. With a stronger support at $0.000075, the ascending trend line, which is presently at $0.000080, is a significant dynamic support. Conversely, despite numerous tests, the horizontal resistance at $0.000095 has not yet been broken. It continues to be the primary obstacle to bullish continuation. If the breakout over $0.000095 takes place, then long-term targets between $0.000120 and $0.000135 might be reached above that. The price of Terra Luna Classic seems to be forming an ascending triangle-shaped bullish continuation pattern. If the price closes above $0.000095 with greater volume, the higher lows against the horizontal barrier indicate that a breakout to the upside is probably imminent. For long-term holders, any pullbacks in the vicinity of the rising trend line are excellent accumulation opportunities since they represent a lower risk entry opportunity. The present bullish configuration would be invalidated and new lower objectives would be created around $0.000075, $0.000065, and $0.000054 if the LUNC price breaks below this level of $0.000080. Terra is a cryptocurrency that automatically tracks the price of other assets or currencies. It is an open source blockchain payment platform. Users may instantaneously spend, save, trade, or exchange Terra stablecoins thanks to the Terra blockchain. Stablecoins or digital currencies backed by governments like the US dollar or the euro are produced via the Terra protocol and are intended to continuously track the value of a fiat currency. It is made up of the cryptocurrency coins Terra and Luna. Terra stablecoins are named after fiat currencies and track their value. For example, the base Terra stablecoin, Terra SDR or SDT, mirrors the price of special drawing rights SDR issued by the International Monetary Fund. The South Korean one is tracked by Terra KRW, KRT, and the US dollar is tracked by Terra USD, UST, two other stablecoin denominations. Burning Luna allows users to mint new Terra. On the other hand, mining and government are done on Luna. The staking token for the Terra system, Luna, is designed to mitigate the price volatility of Terra stablecoins. Blockchain miners, sometimes referred to as validators, on Terra are rewarded with transaction fees for recording and validating transactions on the blockchain, for which users stake Luna. Luna's value rises in tandem with Terra's increased use. Principal Characteristics of Terra In the rapidly expanding Asian e-commerce market, Terra seeks to increase value for consumers and efficiency for payment service providers. Terra takes on established retail payment apps with the use of Cosmos blockchain technology. 
Terra circumvents the current disjointed payment infrastructure because it is a comprehensive end-to-end -end payment solution. Payment service companies might save hundreds of millions of dollars a year by utilizing Terra's technology. In order to oversee the collateralization procedures that support and preserve the price stability of Terra's stablecoins, the crypto network uses its own currency, the Luna, as a utility and governance token. Cons and benefits of Terra. Pros. Software developers can build their own protocols and decentralized applications. DApps. On top of Terra using the blockchain neutral development platform that is part of the Terra ecosystem. Numerous stable coins connected to currencies are supported by the Terra protocol. Terra Luna tokens assist stabilize its stable coin. It facilitates exchange between Luna and stable coins to raise or decrease supply. Terra unveiled Anchor, a mechanism for loans and savings. Users can deposit money and receive interest on stable coins with this protocol. Cons. Ethereum and other significant cryptocurrency projects are still ahead of Terra. Since its developers are Korean, most Bitcoin transactions pertaining to Terra start there. It's too soon to know if other markets will adopt Terra-related currencies. Compared to Ethereum, Terra is less decentralized. Some purists of blockchain might be put off by this. To be more specific, Terra is a payment system that runs on a blockchain. It was created by Terraform Labs, a South Korean company that Daniel Shin and Du Quan formed in 2018. Former Apple and Microsoft employee Du Quan started a company called Anify that provided decentralized wireless mesh networking technologies. In addition to being a co-founder of the Korean e-commerce company Tmon, better known as Ticket Monster, Shin is the founder and CEO of the Asian payment technology company Chai, a partner of Terra. In its goal to become a top e-commerce stablecoin payment and decentralized finance, DeFi service provider, Terra has a growing ecosystem in the crypto sector with 114 projects across DeFi, Web 3.0, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Several of these initiatives consist of a fixed yield platform with frictionless access and borrowing yields is called Anchor Protocol. Chai, over 2 million South Koreans use this payments app. Low Terra. Terra is a blockchain-based decentralized lottery platform. That synthetics or fungible assets that mimic actual asset prices can be created thanks to the Mirror Protocol. Talus Protocol. An online marketplace where artists can give services and sell their works. Vega Protocol a derivatives trading and minting platform. The Terra protocol makes an effort to keep the price of the Terra stablecoin stable by making sure that supply and demand are always equal through the use of arbitrage. This is because the main benefit of stablecoins is derived from the stability of the price peg, theoretically avoiding the volatility typical of cryptocurrencies. Luna absorbs the volatility of the Terra stablecoin and acts as a variable counterweight to it. Imagine the entire Terra economy to be made up of two pools, a Terra pool and a Luna pool that are used to change the pricing by offering incentives to network users in order to comprehend how Terra operates. The developers are still putting in a lot of work behind the project to make sure everything stays stable despite the crash that occurred a year ago. A few weeks ago, an article appeared on CoinGape stating that the creators of Terra Luna Classic have filed a significant proposal to enhance and introduce derivatives for liquid staking. Developers want to add support for Quicksilver an interchain liquid staking protocol for the Cosmos ecosystem by changing the permitted interchain account host messages, according to the proposal. As a result, the Quicksilver chain can send authorized messages and create, manage, and delete accounts on the Terra Luna Classic chain transparently. It will also allow interchain staking on any validators, as well as enhance liquidity and capital efficiency by boosting network security and decentralization. Additionally, it does away with the necessity that a position holder wait for an unbonding period before selling his staked assets. Given this, you ought to be aware that the Terra Luna creators are continuously striving to improve the project. This is to let you know that there is still hope for Terra Luna. I think all will work out in due course. Additionally, I think Terra Luna's investment can make you wealthy. However, everything relies on your investment amount in Terra Luna Classic, your expectations for the market, and the length of time you are willing to hold. The native token of Terra Luna is called LUNC. The video will now come to an end. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and invest sensibly. Regards.